You literally have a second brain in your stomach. Yep, it's true. Your gut has its own nervous system that can make decisions without your brain. In fact, it's so smart that scientists are starting to study it as a way to treat some diseases. It all starts with the food you eat. When you consume something, whether it's good or bad, your brain gets the message and sends signals to your stomach to get things moving. But there are also receptors in your gut that can sense what's good and what's bad. And when they find something they don't like, they send signals to your brain to let you know. Like for example, if you ate something that upset your stomach, your brain might start to feel queasy, even before you start throwing up. That's because your gut has its own little brain, which is made up of more than 100 million neurons. That's as many neurons as are in your spinal cord. This little brain is called the enteric nervous system and it's controlled by a nerve center called the myenteric plexus. The myenteric plexus receives signals from your brain and from the receptors in your gut. Then it decides what to do. And here's the crazy part. If it needs to, it can make those decisions on its own, without any input from your brain. For example, if you eat something that makes your stomach really angry, your ends can tell your body to throw up before your brain even gets the message. That's why sometimes you just gotta run to the bathroom and you don't even have time to think about how queasy you feel. Your ends has already made the decision for you. Most of the time though your ends doesn't work alone. It works with your brain to keep your digestive system running smoothly. So the next time you feel something in your gut, remember, it might not be your imagination. You literally do have a second brain down there making decisions that affect how you feel. Okay, so now you know that you have a second brain in your stomach. Follow Curious60s for more smart body facts. And leave a comment below with your favorite emoji. We're curious.